Hello everyone, my name is Amir Glatt. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Duda. Duda is a leading uh, website builder for professionals, for agencies, hosting companies and SaaS platforms. Thanks for joining me for this presentation today. I want to share with you today a survey that we ran amongst uh, hundreds of web professionals. Some of them are Duda customers, some of them are not. We want to understand how the web pro market looks today, especially after like the crazy year of uh, 2020 and COVID and looking forward into 2021. So first things first, what do we mean when we say web pro? Uh, in Duda, we define web pros as either web designers, developers, digital marketing agencies, uh, SaaS platforms uh, providing solutions for SMBs, all of those guys that in the end servicing SMBs, providing them web presence solutions like website design, e-commerce, uh, online advertisement, SEO, social media management, and so on. So this is the group that we focused on. And a little bit about the demographics of uh, the group that responded to our survey. Uh, in terms of size, uh, roughly 43% are freelancers working as a, a single person, but more than 50% are employees of companies uh, with different range between um, two to five employees up until to more than like, you know, 100 employees. Uh, geography, we have like two thirds coming from the US, 15% from Europe and then the remainder of the world. And in terms of tenure, uh, we have the vast majority, more than 70%, that are more than five years in the business. So we have some seniority here and perspective. Uh, so this is like the demographics, um, pretty wide range. So what did we learn from the survey that we did? First thing we learned is that web pros are really busy. They have a lot going on. In terms of like new projects, new customers and new sites, we see that like more than 50% of the web pros we surveyed, build more than 10 sites per year for the customers. Some of them are even building hundreds or thousands of uh, sites or projects per year. But what's even more important is that many of them are maintaining and managing lots of clients, not just new ones. So nearly half maintain more than 25 sites under management and 70% more than 10 sites. Why is it important? It's important like from a few reasons. One, having tools that will simplify the management, speed up like the building time and maintenance of sites for web pros is really important, that's one. Second, since uh, um, those web pros are having lots of clients uh, to manage, uh, they also have a lot of opportunities to upsell to those clients additional services. Uh, to optimize their uh, billing and, and business models and basically build better businesses for themselves. So let's dive deeper into the business models uh, that web pros are using. The first question that we asked in that category is how much you typically charge to design a single website. We can see there's a, like a wide range of answers. Uh, but the vast majority of web pros are charging anything between $500 to $5,000 for a one-off website build. Obviously, there are projects that are going over like 25K, but 500 to 5K, this is the typical range of a website build. The other question, which is going into the maintenance and actually the opportunity, is uh, how much you charge for site maintenance. And you can see it's like fairly consistent across the web pro industry. The range is $26 to $100 per month for a website. Um, and what it means is that there is an opportunity here. The ongoing subscription of maintaining a website and upselling could be like very, very material for businesses. Uh, we believe that like businesses that are doing mainly one off uh, um, projects will not be as successful compared to businesses that can maintain the website, upsell additional services and charge for that. Uh, we know that there's a reason why subscription model is so successful uh, in the SaaS world. How, how pros are charging their customers? Four typical business models. The first one that like more than half are using are milestones, meaning 
um, charging 25% before the project starts, another 25% later on, and so on. That's one. Uh, auto payment schedule, monthly recurring billing, and annual recurring billing. We know uh, from our experience in Duda and in the, in the SaaS industry that annual recurring billing, customers that can do that are usually the most successful. Uh, there is a very good advantage for annual recurring billing, which is like low churn and um, long uh, customers. So we recommend annual recurring billing to any web pro that want to uh, boost his business and um, make sure that like his churn rates are low. In terms of services that web pros are providing, we see 60% are providing website design, but that's not the only service. Uh, many of them are using, uh, adding ongoing site maintenance, social media marketing, SEO and SEM, display advertisement, and a long tail of other services. So this again like shows the potential of becoming a web pro and offering uh, a wide range of services that complement each other. It also means that platforms that can help you to integrate easily between the different services that you provide uh, will have will help web pros to do a better job. So when we're looking about like website builders or other tools in this market, it's not just the tool for doing one specific job, but it's a tool that like will integrate well with a range of other services. And we also see that web pros are using a variety of tools to serve their customers. It's not a winner takes all market. Three out of four web pros use more than one content management tool for building websites and e-commerce. We see it like within our customer base. Obviously, like we want everyone to use only Duda, but the reality is that like they're using Duda, sometimes they're using WordPress, sometimes they're using other tools. And web pros are uh, sophisticated customers they use the right tool for the job. They're not afraid to use different tools in parallel and pick the right one. When we look at like visual design tools, like, you know, like uh, Sketch, Adobe Photoshop, Canva and so on, it's 82% of them that are using one, more than one visual uh, design tool. So I think it's really important when we think about the web pro market to understand that they are working in an ecosystem. They have a lot of tools that they need to integrate. They're choosing the right one for their job. So let's switch to a different topic of the survey. Let's talk about COVID-19 and how it affected the pro market in very, very different ways. So first we asked uh, which verticals decreased the amount they spent uh, with uh, web pros providing services. So uh, it's not a big surprise, but still uh, important to see how industries like travel, uh, food and beverage, um, uh, home field services decreased the amount that they are spending. So pros focusing on restaurants and those type of like verticals maybe needed to find other verticals to focus on instead. On the other hand, when we asked like uh, which verticals increased their digital digital marketing spend, we see a lot in the e-commerce, online retailers, a lot in the professional services, medical. Uh, um, professional coaching, health and health and wellness, and so on. I want to say a few words about e-commerce. One, we saw a lot of pros that didn't offer e-com services or e-com websites before and started to do it like in the last year. That's a very, very smart move. We believe that this move um, is important also and is going to stay. So we think that e-commerce, even after the pandemic is over, is still going to be very, very important. We're not going back uh, to the days before COVID, that's one. Second observation that we have about e-commerce, that it is not just classical e-commerce anymore. It's not just about uh, building a store and selling, I don't know, products like t-shirts and so on. We, we saw a lot of like new use cases of e-commerce in the last year, starting with selling subscriptions for yoga studios, um, downloading uh, digital files, um, uh, maybe like people that are the, the main the main purpose is not e-commerce but now are selling like you know one or two products uh, as well so we think that like the the world of payment is really coming into the world of SMBs in many new interesting scenarios and web pros should be aware of that and adapt their businesses to support those different use cases 
So let's talk now about SEO and changes to SEO that are planned and how the web pro market is prepared to that. So one of the biggest SEO change that Google is planning uh, is around site performance and site user experience. It is called Google Core Web Vitals, which are basically three different metrics that are measuring the experience of users browsing the website. And Google are going to make it a ranking factor as part of the search algorithm starting in May this year. So when we asked our web pros uh, if they are aware of that, so yes, web pros know that 92% even think that you will have some impact of the search rankings. Um, between moderate impact and significant impact, so web pros are aware and they know that they need to take care of that. But on the other hand, we see that more than half of the web or server respondents indicated that the majority of the websites are not yet ready for Google algorithm change. Uh, some like didn't do anything, some optimized, but less than 25% of the websites. So this is definitely coming and web pros need to start working on that. Uh, the sooner, uh, the better. So just to summarize what we learned from the survey, one, web pros need solutions that will allow them to scale uh, and to build projects quickly without sacrificing quality. Second, web pros needs to go into uh, new business models like recurring subscriptions that will allow them to grow their businesses better. Web pros needs to move and to serve verticals that matter the most, like the e-commerce and the different type of e-commerce that emerges today. And web pros should really start optimizing for Google Core Web Vitals as soon as possible because the change is coming up in May. You're all very welcome to join our expert breakout session uh, to learn how to help web pros and SMBs prepare their sites for Google Core Web Vitals updates. It will be presented by Russ, uh, the Director of Strategic Integrations from the Tuta team. Thank you everyone and enjoy the CloudFest conference.